everybody, I'm Mr. Zorn, and this is the Metal Non-Metal Metalloid Lab. Try saying that three times fast. In this lab, we're going to look at a couple of samples, and we're going to identify them as either a metal, non-metal, or metalloid. There's a couple different tests we're going to be doing. We're going to first look at the appearance of each um, sample. Then we're going to be using a mortar and pestle to test the malleability of each sample. I have a conductivity meter. We're going to be testing the conductivity of each sample. I also have some hydrochloric acid. We're going to drop each sample in a small test tube of hydrochloric acid to see if it reacts. And then I have some copper chloride. Uh, same thing. I'm going to put some in a test tube and we're going to drop each sample in to see if it reacts with copper chloride. For safety in this lab, I want to make sure that we have our goggles on latex or nitrile gloves, I'm wearing a lab coat, you may be wearing a lab apron. So definitely want to have safety equipment on. Some of the samples in this lab are toxic, so please make sure that when you're all done, uh, after you've cleaned up, you make sure that you wash your hands with soap and water. All right, let's get to it. All right, next let's go ahead and we're going to take a small piece of each sample. We're going to put it in our mortar and pestle and then I'm going to try to pound it down into a flattened disc. Now, remember, malleable simply means that you can compress it into a disc, okay, or, or flatten it. Brittle, it's going to crumble, okay. So, let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right, next we're going to go ahead and test conductivity. So I have a conductivity probe here. There are two metal pieces sticking out, and you want to make sure that your sample touches both ends of the um, conductivity probe here. Okay? There are some lights here on mine, and then on the back there's a chart. So you kind of match up the light pattern that's on the LEDs here with the chart on the back to determine conductivity. Okay? So again, most important thing is to make sure that your sample touches both of the probes on the conductivity meter. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the next thing is we're going to take each sample and we are going to put a small piece in this test tube of hydrochloric acid and see if we get a reaction. So we're going to carefully use our tweezers, grab a piece, drop it in there, and give it a couple minutes to see if we uh, have a reaction. Reactions would be bubbles, smells, 
um, or anything like that. So now we're going to repeat the process using our copper chloride. So again, small sample goes in the test tube and we're looking for any kind of reaction here. Sample number one. 